What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Editor's Keys Final Cut Pro 10 Mac dedicated keyboard. Before I begin this review, I want to thank Mark Brown, the whole crew out there at Editor's Keys for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out the website guys, link will be down below in the description as always. Dedicated video keyboards are meant to increase the speed at which you edit. The way these keyboards work is by helping the editor to learn common and convenient keystrokes and hotkeys. Keystrokes are always much faster than going through menus and finding the function you want, which is why this keyboard features color-coded keys rather than plain white ones. In all different kinds of software, certain keystrokes or hotkeys can be used to perform a certain function, so learning these shortcuts can be extremely beneficial in your video editing workflow. This particular video editing keyboard is actually a modified version of the Apple keyboard. The keys have been redesigned to show both the basic keys and also the special video editing functions while still keeping that lovable Apple look. Before I owned this keyboard, I learned keystrokes and shortcuts the long way. This involved me going through the menus and trying to memorize what keystrokes went with what function. However, after I got this keyboard, I was able to pick up the keystrokes much more quickly. Dedicated keyboards such as this one display a ton of different shortcuts at once, which allows you to pick the function that goes with what you want, and then at a glance, find it pretty easily. Aside from using this as a dedicated video editing keyboard, it obviously still functions as a normal typing keyboard. When I compare this to a standard iMac keyboard, I found out that the editor's keys version feels a little bit different. Since the keys have been printed on, it feels less smooth than the standard Apple keyboard. However, I did not find this to be particularly annoying. The only quote unquote bad thing I could find about this keyboard was the fact that it's only available in the European keyboard layout. If you use the American standard layout like I do, the main differences you'll notice are that the enter and the backslash key are reconfigured, and there's a tilde key occupying half of where the left shift button would normally be. Other than those two small things, this keyboard is perfect. Thanks to the Editor's Keys Final Cut Pro 10 Mac dedicated keyboard, I no longer have to waste huge amounts of my precious time editing. The purpose of a dedicated video editing keyboard is to increase the productivity and increase the speed at which you edit your videos. I can personally say that this keyboard has definitely made me a better, more time efficient video editor. For $129.99 you're getting a modified Apple keyboard that can significantly speed up the time it takes to get your video from raw footage to its final exporting status. This concludes my video review for this very awesome dedicated video editing keyboard, one I would definitely recommend to anyone who's looking to improve their editing workflow. Again, I want to thank Mark Brown, the whole crew out there at Editor's Keys for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website, guys. Link will be down below in the description as always. If you'd like to buy this product, I normally put an Amazon link down below as well, but seeing as this specific item is not on Amazon, I will instead post a cheaper non-Apple version down below so you can go check that out for yourself. So thanks for watching guys, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video.